Hello, and welcome back to our next episode of Let's Play Feed the Beast Stone Block 3. I'm sure this intro is different every time, and I'm your host, Kenshin. So today we are going to be continuing where we left off. Last time we had set up some automation for our create setup. Rather, we continued it, so we've been working on this for a couple episodes now. The first episode we had kind of hooked up the conveyor belts. Last episode, we hooked those up to cobble generators and crushers to make the resources that go into them. And today we need to automate the storage. So if we leave this system running as is, you'll see that even in the like, I don't know, 30 minutes of off screen time between the end of the last episode and this, that this crystal chest here that we're using for storage is filling up. Uh, I don't know why they're... Uh oh why are those there? <clears throat> so, we really want to avoid this happening. We don't want our chest to fill up, because if it does, things will stop entering and this will backfill. And we could probably come up with some complicated system where we just keep making more and more and more chests. But ultimately, we need something sustainable. And that's where this functional storage drawers mod comes in. So functional storage. We're going to store our materials uh, in drawers for now. <clears throat> now, I'm hopeful that we'll be able to do some more fancy stuff. But right now, this will be pretty solid, I think, for holding stuff. So we can use compacting drawers. We can use regular drawers. Um... We do need a storage drawer controller. Should be this fancy thing here. So we're gonna put items into the storage controller and it's gonna automatically put them into various drawers. Is there a lock? There's a linking tool. Configuration tool, maybe that. Yeah, we're gonna need one of these things as well. Uh, paper which we have not gone out of our way to make. Oh, a tree bark. Yeah, we've not gone out of our way to make uh, paper yet. So this might be the episode. I think we can make sugar cane. I think we have a singular sugar cane. But right now our priority is going to be setting up storage for this. Looking at this room, we're gonna need more space. And we might want to invert the direction of this conveyor belt to put the storage on this side, just because this is going to need a lot more space than we have here. So why don't I'm gonna pause the video, I think, carve out some space, maybe flip the direction this thing runs to send materials down here. I think we'll put the storage uh, at least whatever temporary storage we make over here. And as our base gets bigger and bigger and bigger, we're gonna have to keep moving things around because I have not done any forward planning. If I was really clever, I would actually move the entire base into the nether because in the nether we can use uh, alt mine. So if we're over here, it's really easy to dig out spaces. If we're over here, it's a lot more of a pain. But I don't really feel like moving at this exact point in time. Maybe later, though. Maybe later in the Let's Play season. So I'm going to dig this out, get us some space, and we'll be back in a moment. Oh, but before we do that, I'm going to open up all these uh, quest rewards because it's killing me that I don't have them yet. Metal warning door. I just love clicking on these. Oh, we got the engineer manual. I did want that. I, I managed to make the hammer. We made that last episode. It got a special comment. Um, I have learned that the hammer actually works exactly like the equivalent. This uh, <clears throat> it works exactly like a wrench, so I might not have to make the wrench for that for create. All right, and then we want the alloy kiln, and we got an entang. Oh, okay, I I want to know what this thing does. Because we ha we've gotten both of these as quest rewards. If we link an entangled block to another block with an entangled binder, the entangled block pretends it's that block. This means you can pipe things in and out of the entangled block, and it'll pipe in and out of the linked block instead, even at a distance. Oh, okay. 
that's going to be annoying to wrap my head around, but I guess it's like a Tesseract from other mods. Oh, <laughs> there's, there's a Tesseract. <laughs> uh, oh, what's this thing? What? Oh, okay. Okay. So we have the auto hammer, but what is, why would I want this thing? Smithing table. The blue side output is automatically output from the red side. That was strangely self-explanatory, kind of, from the direction of the arrows. Oh, what are these down here? Oh, cool. So these are like... No, never mind. I thought these were wedges sticking out the bottom, but they're actually other quests, right? I was like, oh, I thought these were dependencies and the dependent... Smithing table uses FE to automate smithing table crafts. <clears throat> what is a smithing table? <laughs> Maybe that's the problem here. So I guess this is a, um, oh, this is one of those villager things, isn't it? All right. Well, this is where my age is showing because I have no idea what this thing does. You with a smithing table. Ah, oh, this is where you do the netherite stuff. Okay. And I guess you can make fluix tools. All right, not incredibly useful. I don't see why I would need to up, like, manually do this. I'm curious how we get netherite, so that recipe is pretty basic down there. Anything really wild? Netherite dust? No... All right, so the question is, how do we get scrap? Yep. Get debris? Nope. All right, so we can do magic. We can laser drill it. All right, just curious about that. All right, so that was a uh, fun two to three minute detour. We'll be back with some new space. All right, so just brief aside, digging out that space down there, realize that we need better uh, capacity on us. So we are making this pocket storage system, which requires, I think we can go up to diamond. Oh, no. Oops. Oops. Do need more chests. Let's make... I think we can go up to diamond tier with this. Yeah, well, that was my fault. We're building one I didn't need. <laughs> and we'll just... We'll just abuse our... How does this... I don't know how my trash works. I need, like, a trash can so I can put my mistakes in it. I think we can make a trash can, but I don't think we have the... We need... Oh. No, we can do that. We can do that. I thought it needed obsidian. All right, so we'll make this thing. We do have to be incredibly careful with it, though. So we'll put it back here because we want to make sure we only put the correct stuff in it. And if you're really scared of doing it, you can always turn on the whitelist and make sure you whitelist the right item before you put it in there. All right. So now we have this guy who we can put cobblestone in there. Now when we are chopping down all this cobblestone... Instead of it cluttering up our inventory, which maybe we want. It's, I think you can set this to, like, give you items to, like, refill yourself. The uh, the other mod I mentioned earlier, the Dank Null that we don't have, actually lets you build directly from the storage unit. Let's see, we have 200 cobblestone in there. We can hold a lot of items, I think 32 it said. And it can hold 65,000 of each item. So we're not filling this up anytime soon, though I won't rule out that we won't eventually fill it up. So we have a little more space here. 
Uh, do note that our time limit is running out. <laughs> this is getting full. Um, how did we get Scoria? I feel like something's going wrong down... Oh, I know what's going wrong downstairs. So, <clears throat> and the way our, our haunting system works here is we have a uh, encased fan blowing over soul sand with fire on it. These get sucked up and sent up there. But the way that we get our soul sand to suck up for this is we actually siphon it from this system. So you'll notice here that this forks, um, which is the real root of our problem here, right? So half the sand goes up, half the sand goes down onto here. This still actually produces slightly more than we need. So this conveyor belt can actually get full and if the soul sand sits on here too long, it turns into scoria. Um, and there are ways we could get around that, but it's really not the end of the world. It's annoying just because these storage drawers have a downgrade in them that makes it so they can only hold one stack of items, uh, which is how this works. If it didn't do that, then this drawer would eat up all the sand. Um, but notice that this drawer runs out. Uh, if this gets backed up somehow, the it would have to eject all of the soul sand before it would even take the scoria. But that's fine. We'll just have a box for it anyways, because this is good to know. We probably want extra storage capacity. All right. So if we leave this... We can actually flip the direction of this conveyor belt to go this way. We are going to have to keep rebuilding the staircase that goes down here, but that's not really the end of the world. Um, the other is so we needed the soul sand washing because that's how we get nether quartz and glowstone. It also gives us gold nuggets, which are kind of annoying, but these will go into a compacting drawer. But we, we need the nether quartz. And we're actually going to need that very soon. So I'm going to go get these storage blocks that we need to fill this up. And be right back again. All right. So I have made this compacting drawer from the mod. And... We're just going to do some testing here to make sure it works the way we want it to. Yes. So the only thing that counts as the storage capacity of this is the large block. Just going to make sure that all of these work the way we think they do. Uh, double check that. All right, I don't think there should be any other problems. I notice that this is now already full. Oh, let's see if the appetite. Yeah, the appetite does. So we're going to need a lot of different drawers. I was trying to decide if I wanted to make these compact and use the 2x2 uh, the two two drawers, which hold four stacks each, or if I wanted to go a little higher. It does look like... The storage options for this are kind of expensive, but maybe that's not really prohibitive. Because 24 times 500 is what I think one of these little 2 by 2s can hold. Is still... Well, I guess not that much, right? 24 times 500, 12,000? Does that sound right? That sounds right. So maybe it might be worth it to make those. Our other problem is we have a little bit of a wood conundrum here since we don't have that much wood. But notice that this is now backed up, so this is going to stop. Um, we might just turn this off. 
if we break this, it should all turn off, right? Yeah. So we'll just leave this as is for now until we get the storage sorted. So I think we need these raw things. Unfortunately, we do need to store in their own little boxes. <clears throat> Clearly, we're making a ton of iron, coal, sand, and zinc, and that's just because of this millstone. And I think sand we can store in a compactor. Let's check that one. I forgot to look at it. I think if you compact it, it'll make sandstone, right? Um, it'll make compressed sand. All right, that should have been obvious in hindsight. That's even better for us. So we can store that there. Clearly, this got full somehow, so we'll just dump this in here. We, uh, we went all in on the furnace, by the way. This is an emerald furnace, which is the highest tier furnace we could make. And look at that thing cook. 20 ticks per operation. I think it's one second. I think a, a second is 20 ticks. All right. Um, so in order to set this system up, we're going to put our storage drawer on the end down here. We got one of our polished andesites. Plop it on top of that. We're going to put our drawer controller here. And we just, uh, we just stick down drawers. Oh, can we only access these from the sides? So I'm going to come back with a bunch more drawers and then we'll show it in action. I think if you're curious how, if you're curious how we get all the wood for this project, we have a, we dug a little trench next to this and now we can just chop these easy and replant them. That's where all our wood is coming from. All right, so we have 10 compacting drawers here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to fill these with things that compact. We don't have to take them all out. It would be more convenient for me if I did, but I have an idea for something that would be fun to do later. So we're just going to do these one at a time. I'm going to pick up more than one at a time, though. So we want the appetite. I'll we'll take a stack of appetite. We want the clay. We want the flint. We, I think the bone meal stacks. This might stack. That might stack. That might stack. All right. Sorry. Wife dropped something off. Um, I don't know if fluorite stacks. It looks like it will. And I think sulfur stacks. So we probably will need more of these compacting drawers, but let's just fill in what we can right now. Oh, that does not stack. That surprised me. I guess the search these quartz dust is like a process form of what I was thinking it was. Yep, we can get bone block, flint, appetite. So looks like we need a couple more. All right, cinnabar looks like it'll stack. Sulfur stacks, niter stacks. Skystone dust should not stack. We still haven't pulled out the diamond, the emerald. Does amethyst stack? Amethyst looks like it'll stack. These look like they'll stack. Oh, we need so many more still. Um, all right, so I'll come back with... How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine more of these. All right, so we're going to give this a shot, see what happens. Um, I think for now we'll be okay without upgrades, but we'll see. So what's really fascinating is first we just have to attach this back, and then we're actually lucky we have a clutch here or a gear shift. So we can 100% just reverse the direction of this. And it's already stuck on something. Oh, does this not work the way I want it to? All right, so we're going to replace this with a pipe. Hmm. No? Oh, God. Oh, boy. 
Oh boy, let's see if we can put it in the back. No, it doesn't like that. What do you think we did wrong here? Grab that. Um, I really feel the funnel should work. Iron nugget. We have an iron nugget down there. Oh boy, all right. Oh, we can get controller extensions, that's cool. Oh, do I have to link these? Oh, I have to link these. All right, okay, so we'll, uh, we'll turn this off again. So much for that. Uh, all right, so we do need the paper and we had a couple ways to make paper, right? Here, we can just, just put that up there. Screw this. I'm a huge fan of this button, though. I love this button. All right, so sugar cane. Hmm. I think we have a single... So we, have, we have six sugar cane, which is enough. Uh, I don't love the idea of doing that, so let's... Just quick, we did get that botany pot earlier, so we're going to use this. Make a hopper botany pot. And then we're going to use that to get our sugar cane, right? And we need the sand. We need a sugar cane, and let's hope that works. All right, and this should also tell us how long it takes to make that. So it is a minute and three seconds. Um, oh, we could put grow that on lots of stuff. Dirt path, 0.5x speed, seriously? How do we make that? We just put dirt and we smash it. We can do that. We can do that easy. Now, that means we do have to turn on our little system here, but that's fine. It's already broken, so. Here we go. Smoosh. Give me that. Turn it off again. There is a, um, the clutch that I miss mentioned earlier can be used to just turn that straight off and on. All right, so we're gonna swap out dirt path for sand. And let's see if that makes it grow faster. Because like those other things seem like upgrades, right? Oh no, oh, maybe it is slower. The rich soil farm line is only 1.25. All right. Yeah. Oh, we got huge. Yeah, okay, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. All right, we'll just get rid of our dirt path. <laughs> so I'm gonna quick dig through. This should be enough, like, you know, I'm not gonna dig through. Let's just let's just go for it. So that gives us the paper. We make this thing. Oh, we have quest. All right, let's go look at that. Get, ooh, a magnet. Now we're talking. Oh, now we get the gold furnace. We're done. We don't need that. What is an ender drawer? <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So I need to. I wonder if there's a limit then to this. Let's see, so what is this? Sneak right click to change modes or clear frequency. Left click an ender drawer to store its frequency. Okay, so I wonder if I could link, I bet I could link ender drawers to this thing. All right, okay. And then shift right click. 
say something about Yeah, whatever. All right, let's go turn it on. This time I feel good now. Oh uh, yeah, they're going in. They're going in. All right, so the only way we could make this fat. Oh, cool. Those lights like do stuff. So it's just exporting tons of coal, it looks. Um, we are going to now upgrade these to brass funnels uh, just to expedite this process. So this will be a good learning experience. And conveniently, we have one extra paper left over. So let's, I, I am obsessed with this function now. We need rose quartz, which is nether quartz, um, which fortunately we have some. That's exactly how many we need. Oh, wow. We are getting lucky here with these numbers. So this is like the dumbest mechanic in the game. In order to polish stuff, you need to have it in your right. You need to have the sandpaper in one of your hands and the stuff in the other one. Alrighty. Uh, I guess I made too many of those, but whatever. Oh, that's I, I love it. <laughs> it's so useful. All right. So now we're going to put the brass funnel there. So those do stacks. So as you can imagine, that will be way faster. And then you can actually store things into the controller network by just right-clicking the storage drawer. But then, see, look at that. Look at that. Bada zoom. Where are these coming from? Oh, this thing. Okay. I forgot that that inserted directly into here. You can also put filters on these, and the filters are very powerful. Um, we kind of bypassed the need for filters with how we set this up. The other way you can use these uh, fans is you can put depots down and put <clears throat> filters on them that don't let the item leave the depot if it's not processed yet. This is way easier. All right, so now we just... Uh, we just watch, make sure this does not have any weird flubbing happening. Uh, when it gets stuck there, it's because things are coming off the uh, side paths onto it. <clears throat> so if we tried to put something in here that doesn't fit at all, uh, it would actually go into one of these last three spots. So like if I were to throw, say, my pipe on there, see? So we have a little bit of overflow protection here. We do have to go through and lock all these drawers, right? So we need one of these configuration tools, uh, which maybe we have the stuff for it, but I think we're, uh, we're good now, right? So this is our new storage setup. This will hold, these will hold 2000 of these guys. We can right click the frame to see how much that boss a little more time we'll probably never fill up these compacting drawers um at least not at this rate like these can hold four thousand, and we only have 92 of coal and coal is one of the things we make in the largest quantities these ones i'm a little more worried about so this can hold a thousand um so we we're already a third of the way there for our copper storage um, so we might upgrade this one quickly, or we might remove the copper and put it somewhere else. Maybe we'll move the searches quartz into here, since that seems to be a little larger. Uh, and that's it. That's going to be our episode for today. So this is one way, I mean, there are many ways, but one way of connecting, uh, this system to a storage output. And we do that now, we do now have to be very careful that we can't put things on here that we don't want to go into our storage system. So like we're probably going to have to delete this track or put in something else that's automated and produces fixed outputs here just because like if we press things and they make it onto the main track, we're kind of in trouble. Um, alternatively, we could just shorten it and put a chest here. So we might do that. 
In fact, why don't we do that before we head out? We can just slap that. Oh, we can get this back. See, look at that, beautiful. Attach that there. We'll use our hammer to rotate it. And then we should have, shoot, where'd it go? <clears throat> See, there's the issue. Put that there. Go pull out another polished andesite. Down our chest that we don't have. And then we'll put down a andesite funnel on it. There we go. And that should be good for a while now. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this can help you guys uh, in your own adventures or if you're just enjoying mine, you know. I, I like this storage drawer mod. I will probably keep this until the end game just because they're so space efficient, these compacting drawers at least. <laughs> and with that, I will see you in the next video, which we are not recording today because my voice is done.